the first demerit is that it is regressive. Now, what do we mean by the word regressive? Indirect tax are not equitable. That means if a rich is purchasing some commodity and if that commodity is also being purchased by the poor, both end up paying same amount of tax. So it is not equitable. For instance, salt tax in India fell more heavily on the poor than on the rich. It has, has it is not to be paid at the same rate by all. So if you are purchasing any commodity or let's say this is product A and the MRP is 1000 rupees. So even if a rich purchases this product, he is paying the same amount of tax and if the poor is purchasing that product, he ends up paying same amount of tax as compared to the rich person. So this is not equitable. So indirect tax are not equitable in nature. They does not follow canon of equity. Whether a rich man buys a commodity or a poor man, the price in the market is the same for all. The tax is wrapped in the price that is it inclusive of it is inclusive of the MRP. Whatever the price is mentioned, it includes the taxes. Hence, rich and the poor pay the same amount which is obviously unfair thus they are regressive. So, the rich and the poor ends up paying same amount of tax and that is why indirect tax is regressive in nature. It, it does not support canon of equity. It does not support equitality. Or it does not support what we say fairness in the economy. So this is first demerit which is regressive.